Wagwan. You know, I was thinking, um, we got hundreds of tutorials online from some really good guitar players on how to play reggae. Some are very informative, while some will make you go like, mm. you know, that's not it. That is mainly because the good guitar players listen to the music and think that, um, yeah, it's really easy to play. It's a walkover, basic cards. Mm. Mm -mm. It's much deeper than that. Viewers and subscribers, welcome again. All the new people to the channel, welcome to Regulan. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and hit the red button down there, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Hit also whenever I post a new video, tutorial, whatever I post, you will be alerted. You will be the first to know. My PayPal and Cash App information is attached to the screen. So if you strongly believe in the channel and you want to support the cause, go ahead, donate something. It doesn't matter, big or small. I appreciate it. Another way to support me is by turning off that ad blocker. It doesn't do me any good, nor YouTube. If you don't want to watch the ad, go and grab yourself a beer or a drink from the cooler and come back real quick. Now, without any further ado, I'm not sure if I had done a tutorial on this one, but I want to show you guys how to play Bob Marley's jamming on electric guitar. I want to teach you guys that one chord that you thought you've been playing right, but not so right. Grab your guitars. Let's go. Okay, so jamming. Now, this song has... So there's one, two, three, four chords that plays right throughout the song. All right? Now, if you do not know the structure of the song, please go back and listen to the structure of the song and come back here because I'm not spoon feeding anybody. All right? We're at the level now where we should be listening you know and can hear the movements know the changes probably not know the cards but the changes when it makes changes if you cannot recognize that then you got some big problems here right now i'm sure this is one of those songs that most of you guys think that oh it's easy to play so you know but i'm gonna tell you you're wrong remember you are the guitarist you add that sugar to the song all right you keep that sweet sound all right so this is what we're going to do. Instead of playing B minor, of course it starts with a B minor, we're going to play B minor 7. You know? See, most people think that reggae is just basic cards, but no. There are a lot, there are a slew of reggae songs out there with some jazz cards, you know, a little bit of neo soul type of thing. They are, they are there. Probably the main, probably the reason you're not really hearing it is because we're strumming. You know, and it goes by real fast. So you're not gonna hear the instead of hear the difference. Ara. So if I play, you know, it's not there. You're not gonna hear it like. Or you'd hear, you know, that's you're spelling out the card right there. So now, yeah, so let's start fixing this song up. All right, now you know the skeleton of the song. We are going to now smooth it down. We're going to sweeten it now. We're going to add some sugar to it. So instead of playing B minor, let's play B minor 7. So you're going to lift that pinky finger. Lift it. B minor 7 first card now here is that card that most people get wrong while you can get away with the B minor that next move of the E major that most people play it's not E major it's supposed to be a E seventh you want to call it dominant all right but that's the easy way to play it 
All right. But what I do is I play it here. So here is it. All right. So let's get to farming the cards. Ah, so, so stick a pin. B minor, all the way up to the seventh fret. Bar the seventh fret, place that ring finger on the fifth string ninth fret. So that's your B minor. Your second card, instead of E major, you are going to play the E dominant and you're going to play it this way. So now you're concentrating on only three strings. All right, let's do that. And those three strings, you're going to come all the way up here to the sixth fret and you're going to place the pointer finger on the fourth string. Fourth string, sixth fret. Place the middle finger on the fifth string, seventh fret. All right. So again, pointer finger, fourth string, sixth fret. Ring, my middle finger, fifth string, seventh fret. Now the ring finger goes on the third string, seventh fret. All right. So you're going to be striking in the middle, all right? If you want to bring the thumb over to mute that thick string layer, you can go ahead. So you're going to hear. Okay? And that is that one card most people get wrong, all right? For me, I go ahead and sweeten the song a little more. So instead of coming all the way up here to the next to the G major right which is the 5, five 6, 7, 8, 9, 10th fret bar the 10th fret with the pointer finger then the ring finger is going to bar the 2nd, 3rd and 4th string of the 12th fret of course that is a G major I use G major 7th alright so you can go ahead and use the G here as well as you can use G here now this is not the G major 7 this is a G major again right here so pay attention how I found this one because it sounds sweeter and it's gonna be a it takes you in the next card easier all right so instead of this I play this so this is what we got all right so instead of playing this going here to go all the way up here you know I minus seven dominant major now let's find this card by the seventh fret with the pointer finger place the middle finger on the second string eighth fret ring finger on the fourth string ninth fret pinky finger on the fifth string 10th fret now you're gonna avoid playing the like a string all right so those are three cards already now for the last card it's going to be f minor f sharp minor i use minor seven all right so for the F sharp minor, here. So you're gonna bar the whole seven, eight, ninth fret, place the middle finger on the second string, 10th fret, pinky finger on the third string, 11th fret, ring finger, fourth string, 11th fret. Now, again, I do not use just the minor, I use the minor seven. So all you have to do in this case, this lift, the pinky finger and that is your minor seventh F sharp minor seven so what we have so far C 
See how I slide from here? I just lift the pinky finger and slide up. See that change real easy. Again from here, I hold that card. Then I lift the pinky finger and slide up a hole. Just like that, real quick. So. Which allows it to start. You can slide. You know what I mean? So, of course, when you get here to this one, if you want to, you can just lift the middle finger. That's, you hear that sound? Regular, listen. So when you lift that middle finger, that's your G major seventh. Again, so all right. So, so you're gonna play for your strumming. Remember, it's reggae. You're gonna strike one time this is not a double skank every now and then you can add your a double skank but long stroke up and just to sweeten it we call this slurs but we're mainly concentrating on you know the cards for this song right but for um when you listen to this song you're gonna hear it so the intro and the chorus always You're like jamming too. When you get to the verse, ain't no rules. Eh? Alright, so you're gonna jump from the B minor seventh to the E dominant, B minor seventh, E dominant, then you move G major, F sharp minor seventh. Okay, so the changes is a bit different so in a room in a rules in a bow to it in a watch the jamming And I'll say it as a bridge, all right? So listen out for the bridge, which, like I said, you need to listen for the changes. They are the same chords. Um, for the bridge. Holy Mount Zion. Holy Mount Zion. Then one. Then back in the song. Then I wanna jam it with you. So, holy Mount Zion, holy Mount Zion. Then just see that it Mount Zion. Then da 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 da. Then you're bouncing from the B minor to the E seventh. Then. And you're gonna do that two times, then you move to the G major back in the song. Remember, you do not need a lot of anything on your guitar for play, to play a reggae. Clean tone, little reverb, little delay, and you are good. So let's recap. Instead of playing B minor, play B minor seven, and instead of E major. It's an E dominant. This is what you play. Then instead of playing this G, play this G. And if you want to lift the middle finger to get the major seven, then to the F, instead of F sharp minor, F sharp minor seven. Where you lift the pinky finger. Well, if you are going to be playing this card, you just need to lift the pinky finger and slide over.
yeah, man, and that is how you add some sugar to Bob Marley's jamming. Now remember, if the tutorial was helpful, if there's something that you did not understand, or if there's something that I could have done to make it easier for you guys, please let me know. Drop it down there in the comment section. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Remember to support the cast. Blessed love. Peace out. I'll see you next time. My name is Zan.